Let's go to our reporters now for a sense of what they're watching. Romain. All right, Scarlett. Well, let's start with Zillow. Of course, that's the real estate listing company that actually decided to expand to the business of flipping homes and even extending mortgages. The shares are down about 42 percent, but they're getting a little bit of a pop today. Keep in mind that as of last week, they didn't have a single buy rating on this stock, but that changed today because uh, Thomas Champion over at Cowan raising to outperform, basically saying that this company's move into home flipping, that it will pay off. Keep in mind, they haven't showed, shown any real results for this yet that have appeased investors, but Champion is making the case that the company can hit its targets is also saying that the internet side of this business still offers a compelling uh, opportunity and compelling value. So he's moving to outperform. He's also slapping a $46 price target on this company, which is about eight nine dollars above where it is now. I should point out that the 12 month average price target for analysts is actually about a dollar below where we stand today. Lisa. Thank you so much, Romaine. There is one person that General Electric's executives probably do not want to see today, and that is Steve Tusa. He is a J.P. Morgan analyst who initiated a sell rating on General Electric shares today. You can see the response in markets fast and furious at one point, plunging more than 8%, now down more than 5.5%. This particular analyst has special clout in the market. He basically nailed the bottom for General Electric stocks. Take a look at the shares since December 12th. On December 13th, Steve Tusa uh, recommended a buy on General Electric and said, you know, people had not uh, had not really factored in the scope of the potential recovery. Now he's coming out and saying, eh, perhaps you've been a little too optimistic. Abigail. Lisa, another stock trading lower. Tilray, remember that pot stock? It's back in the news today, down about 4.9%. This is the graphic dashboard function in the Bloomberg. GD gives you a great way to see what's happening for a particular stock. So it's a $56 stock. If you recall, in the summer, it had skyrocketed up more than 1,400% to about $300. Now $56. Today, lower on above average volume. And speaking of that huge volatility, the IPO price, the all-time high, down about 80% from that all-time high. This as there are three buys, four holds, and three sells. Today's weakness has to do with Cowan cutting the revenue growth expectations for the first quarter on uh, Tilray, along with some of the other pot companies, saying that growth is probably going to be uh, modest due to supply constraints. And on the year, take a look at this. Negative earnings, not surprisingly. These shares of Tilray, Scarlett, down on the day and no. down from that IPO high, or excuse me, that all-time high.